see. Uh, I have to remove some of this. Cut some of this video. I realize the quality is not great. I'm having to narrate after the fact. So this is the part you can ignore. Uh, this was not right. I had imported in the wrong one. So let me fast forward to. So we go to import in the zombie walk. And with armature thingy here, we uh, we apply all transforms and we use automatic bone orientation. Now this is only going to bring in the uh, bones. Because I downloaded just the animation. I didn't download. Now I downloaded the model separate. I downloaded it as a DAE file. So if we import in, well, reset position over there in the bone thing. Import in a DAE version of it, which is on the desktop over here. Over here, you look at the wrong one, boy. Over there, mm -hmm. pick that one. Mm -hmm. Import in Collider. Mm -hmm. And you go on over there and you say, uh, okay, so you see how it's got its own bones too. So we have to delete its bones. What you doing now? Talking to myself, I reckon. I set the origin to the 3D cursor. Applied all transforms just to cover my basis. I don't know if that's absolutely necessary. But then you go to the armature for this thing and you delete the armature out of the DAE one. And then what you're left with is an oversized 100 scale uh, model. For that particular model anyway. But it has two damn parts that are like two different things. I joined them together like so. Yep, yep. Yep. Then I went uh, to the bones. I should go down to the bones next. Go on down there now. Go over here and tell this damn thing to be one or 100, rather 100, so it matches that. Uh, no, that's not what you did. Is it? Is that what you did? No, I don't think it was. Maybe it was. I reduced it to 0.01 reduced to match that instead of I don't think that's right I think I had to say no not that way not that way see yeah that's what I realized no you can't reduce it you got to see that's what I realized so no that's not how you do it so instead of that you go to the bones and you say bones you go up to 100 that's what I did. And then I rotated this to this. Yes, rotate. Yes, that way. Yes, right. Yep, yep. And then I, uh, let's see. Then I parented it. I clicked on this. I held shift. No, I guess apparently I wanted to double check the origins were set to the 3D cursor and double check that I applied all transforms. <laughs> Then I clicked on that. I held shift, and then I picked a bone. That means you. That means body to bones. It's like you go to this, and then you go right click, and you go to parent, and uh, with automatic weights. Let me rewind that in case you didn't see that. Right click, just right click in the, in here anywhere. Just right click once you have once you pick this. Once you pick this. And you hold shift and you pick the bones or armature whatever you want to hell you want to call it then you say <laughs> there's that OCD again checking that shit making sure it's set all right then you right hold shift pick the body hold shift pick the bones right click and say parent see parent with automatic weights because object didn't work. No, it was an object, so I had to go back and say, no, that's not right. I thought it was our, um, our automatic weight. So pick the body, pick the bones, right click, and say, oh, yeah, I forgot. forgot. Hold on a second. I'm getting ahead of my damn So There is a modifier of an armature already in the DAE. And even though you delete the armature, there's still a modifier for an armature. So you go to this and you delete it. This is with the body selected. Yes, remove modifier. Yes, yes, that one. That one, dumbass. Click X over here. 
here, 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 boy. You know, no dumb, dumbass. That's not what you do. You delete the son of a bitch. Can't teach the boy nothing. He shit don't listen. He knows everything. Or maybe I didn't delete the damn thing. Oh, see. Okay. Yes. Now I see. No, no, there, yeah. So apparently I did not delete the armature that was set. I thought I did. Pose mode. Now we have a a beam in G compatible with animation. So then we go up to the beam in G and we export into here. No, I said no, no, no. Let's do this one instead. Let's overwrite this one. Export collider. Export collider, and then in the game it should be fine. It's just going to be 100 feet tall, that's all. See there? See, that was a moment of joy. That son of a bitch worked. Yeah, yes, this was a pain in the ass. But we got it working. The textures now, you you make your own textures. I ain't fool with the textures. That, that's extra. <laughs> nah, it's, I just figured I'd get the damn thing working first, then I'd worry about it. Now, you can go into the object. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, uh, but I eventually decided to make this full screen so I could see better. You see the scale here? That's when you got the DAE, animated DAE. Uh, I reduced it back to its 0 0.01 size so that it's like the normal size like that. And see, now... Now it is clear he is normal size, like little guy walking there. See. Now before you ask, no, you cannot make